Hi guys, welcome back. I've got the Mitsubishi Uni pencils here, and they are not cheap. I think I paid $150 for the set, but are they worth it? Let's take a look and see. Now, I am aware that there were a lot of complaints about this set, basically not because the pencils were so bad. The prices, are these pencils really worth $150? Or are you paying for the nice packaging? So I was always intrigued by the packaging. They just are very appealing looking. And I ordered a set. It comes in a vinyl cardboard container. This is not plastic. It's the consistency of a loose leaf notebook. Did you ever see? I have one here. This is exactly what it is. It's vinyl with some cardboard in it. And that's what this is. So it's basically a loose leaf. Depending on where you live, I guess, three-ringed binder. The pencils are very uniquely packaged. And I can figure out how to open it. Okay. This is the position of the pencil case that you have to have access the pencil. And what's unique about it is that the pencils pull out this way. They're set in plastic, but is this really worth it? It's a very cute design. I'm able to see the pencils very nicely. Um, it does come like this. This is an incorrect way of storing your pencils. Always store them tip up, not tip down. So this is what the set looks like when it's properly set up. It comes with 100 pencils, and they're not in order chronologically, like number-wise. But you do get on the package a little key that shows you which little spot to put the pencils. There's a little bit of an issue with the design of this package. I like it sort of. First of all, it's a little bit loose. So when the, it tips, it, some of them tip out. So it, that's a little bit cheap on the packaging for $150. I think maybe they could have gone a little bit tighter in holding these things in. I'm kind of, you have to push them in. And they pop right back out. They come out pretty far and you feel some clicks. But after a couple times of clicking them down, the clicks become weaker and weaker. And to the point where I feel like it is falling out. For the pencils themselves, there are things that I like about it and some things I I don't dislike, okay? I, they're, like a lot of the people, like I read some of the Amazon reviews, they said, meh, on the pencils. They're okay, I agree. They're okay, but they're not okay for $150. Another negative, which is kind of annoying, is for the pencils to work in their setup, there has to be a counterweight balance over here. And that's the top of the set, which means I have to unfold and have this set up just like this. And look how much space this takes up on my desk. I wasn't thrilled about that. I would definitely have to take the pencils out of the case to work with them. I couldn't like grab a pencil, color, put it back, grab a pencil. They would end up out on my desk and then I would be packaging them back into the thing, which counteracts basically having to do this. You know, get the objective is to keep them in the set. I really didn't love because I don't have a big space and I cannot work with this on it. I can't even film with this. I'm hold, actually holding my camera up in the air and you can see how to be able to get a full view. That's it's big. Design I could pass on. Not really my thing. It's held together with magnets, which I are strong enough to hold it. So let's take a look at the pencils. I have a lot of things to show you today, not just this set. It's I have really cool things to show you, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. I tested out the pencils. I tested it on gray paper. I tested it on white. And I'm going to just give you my final findings on the set. I find the position of the pencils in the case almost impossible to work with. 
I didn't like my pencil standing up like that. I felt like I kept reaching in and grabbing, you know, grabbing the wrong thing. I, it was at best cute, impractical. It doesn't fit on my desk. It's um, bulky and it wasn't my thing. I had high hopes for it because I really thought it was. I wouldn't have spent so much money on it if I thought it was going to be bad. Then I tested the pencils and I'm going to agree with most of the the reviews on Amazon and some of the reviews on YouTube that I had seen in the past when I was making up my mind whether I should buy this set or not. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Some will be good, some will be bad. But the stuff that I saw, I kind of agree with. The pencils are budget and they are not high end. I tested them against my Luminesce, which is high end or professional, and they didn't perform any better than the Starjoy, Mark Art, uh, Delhi, that category, the, the high end pencils that are budget. They did not perform any better than that. If I had taken them out of the case, mixed them up with the pencils, didn't look at the brand, started culling with them, I wouldn't have known the difference at all. So they didn't impress me as, oh my God, like my Luminesce pencil, which is just as expensive. I didn't find them any better. So that's my final decision on the pencils. The colors are nice. They're balanced. They, it's a good set. It's just impractical. And I'm going to stick with that one. It's To me, it's annoying. I did find, though, some variations on this uh, pencil case that I did want to show you that are viable options that are more practical than this if you want to get a pencil that's standing up. Now, again, you never, ever store your pencils tip down. When you store your pencils, you always stand them up, tip up, never tip down. When you do a tip down, you risk breaking your tips and missing breaking your tips. And if you look at any of the uh, websites out there or information on pencils, and I agree with this a wholeheartedly, Never, ever store your pencils in that position. Always tip up. The, which is funny because I've never even thought about storing my pencils with the tip down. To me, it's always been, you can put them in a tin can and it works just as good. As long as it's tip up, they're in a tin can. And believe me, I have stored my pencils in tin cans. Here's a better angle that you can actually see the Bitsy case versus the Mitsubishi case. How do people keep that on their desks? It's actually taking up a very good big portion of my desk. That's my workspace for a hundred pencils versus twice as many in this. The 168 pencil case is my standard case. In fact, I just bought another one and I have many. I have pencil cases from them going back 10 years. They're a great company. It's a great product. The only thing I could say this time, and it is definitely not their fault, I got the box, which is cute. I want to keep the box. It has pencils on it. I like this box just to have a box in my room. But Amazon slapped the mailing list label right on this box. I was happy that it peeled up. And so it, it just got sent. This is the box that got sent in. It was damaged over here. It's damaged here where it got squished. It's damaged there. I was lucky and even though the nice box that they put it in got damaged, the case was not. So at least I got that out of it. Unfortunately, this is going to, I'm not going to use this. Now here's the pencil set. This is my number one, it's good quality. It's a, it's not a leather, it's like a faux leather. And the pencils fit into it beautifully. This is half the size of the Mitsubishi case. And I have almost, I would say, one and a half sets of Starjoy in it. And what I like about the, these books, and this is the number one reason I keep going back to these leather books, is you can write on them. 
and I write the pencil that goes in the slot. I've showed this to you on my Prismacolor set multiple times because I love this. I just take a Sharpie marker and I write it. So when they're out of the case and I'm looking for it, I know number 37 is missing. Find number 37. I know exactly where it goes. My pencils stay in order. Um, it's the same thing as keeping them in the long metal case. I do this with all my pencils because they don't fit on my desk and they don't, I, sometimes I keep this on my lap and I just flip through it with it on, on my lap and it, once you open up the zippers, it's, you get used to where your pencils are. Now, one set only filled up to about here and then I skipped the space for the last one and these are all my extras that I have. So it's perfect and it's nice. I know that it lays down flat. Uh, my tips are not getting damaged. It zips up. I could travel with it. I can grab it in a moment's notice. And I know immediately when a pencil is gone. Now, another thing that I store my pencils in, and there are different ones on Amazon. I don't know if this one is still in. This is my pencil organizer on my desk, and I know it doesn't have a lot of pencils in it. It usually does. It's usually st stuffed with them, but I cleaned up. I know red, orange, yellow, I keep them in color order. All my reds over here, my blues, my yellows, and they go in here. It holds a lot. It's small. This thing takes up almost no real estate on your desk, and I hold at least 150 pencils in here easily. I store my things that I need in it. I've never had it fall over. And then I have another one that is these smaller ones. They're sold all over Amazon. Um, the small one, this works the same way. It's tilted and I keep my pencils in there. Now with pens, if you have gel pens, you always store your, store your pens downward, not upward, point up, point down, so that you can keep uh, the ink um, hitting the bottom so there's no spaces there. If you keep them completely flat or up like this, they can get that bubble in it. And then that's like the pencil death is that bubble. Another way of storing is markers. When you have a marker that has one tip, that tip goes down. So it's head down. It's just, it works the same way. You want to keep the nib nice and moist. You don't want that nib drying out because then... That's what I like about this. It keeps them, everything in the perfect storage position. Markers that have two ends, I'll show you. Over here I have my Prismacolor markers. They're dual end. When you have a dual end marker, you store them flat. Evenly distribute the ink, so hopefully both ends will st stay moist. Now... For the one that I have, I just bought this off of Amazon, and it's just, I guess it's for makeup, and it stores them nicely, and then when I put them away on the shelf, it goes in sideward, fits beautifully. I have a carrying case for the markers, but it's also standing up, and I don't want to put the markers standing up. These were made by Jarlink. It's the same company that does electric eraser that I love. These are drawer organizers. They come in sets. I have the 30 set, which is their largest set. It comes out to be about a dollar a compartment. So this 30 set costs $30. And then they have different mix and matches that you can choose from and different colors. You can get this in clear. I got it in the black. This is a game changer from what my art drawers look like before and what they look like now. To show you is the only way I can explain. This is the same plastic as the container for the jaw link. This is. It feels like the same thickness and strength as this, which is good. I mean, it's very good. It comes with these um, things on the bottom. And it doesn't move. Like, you, you can open your drawers up and these things stay flat down. And they give you extra ones, too, to replace them if you ever have to.
So I just want to show you what my drawers look like. This was my top drawer of my art stand. Beautifully organized I am now. I know where everything is and I could see everything. Now, I have another one set up and it's the same thing. This is more like my stationary drawer. Everything in its place, nothing moves. It's perfect. That was the flat way of putting this together. What I loved about this is they have, it, it's like a lip on here. So you can create all sorts of configurations with them and they all fit into with each other. What you're looking at on the screen was developed by a doctor, forgive me for ruining his name, Dr. Hakan Gersu, probably around 2017. You can contact him on his Instagram page and he's been featured in many magazines. I don't know where these are for sale or if this was kind of like a flop design that never went anywhere. Because I do think that this design above the other one that Mitsubishi has is a little bit more practical because you can lay the whole entire thing down and it doesn't take much uh, real estate on your desk. Next thing I found is by Bond Art Studio and they're located on Etsy. And I'll put their name up on the screen. I think this is perfect for a desk because it doesn't take up much real estate. You have your pencils directly in front of you and it's a very pretty design, very uh, minimalist and modern. It comes in a lot of options. You can have it personalized and you can get it from anywhere from 24 pencils up to 72 pencils. It's worth checking out um, Bond Art Studio and it's up on the screen on Etsy. Okay guys, that's it for today and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.